It's time <laughs> for Guys Talk Knives. It's 2019. It is. Has been. It is. It for was. a while. It was. Yes. Yeah. You should scream into that more. I really it am. My ears I know. This it's a little up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> well, this is an aptly titled episode then, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> Marble's Madness. <laughs> You know, you look at the picture of Webster L. Marble, and you're like, there's nothing mad mad about that guy. Or is there? You don't know. Maybe his madness bottled up and tucked down, and he goes all Lizzie Borden. He has the axes. He calls it a safety axe, though, so. Well, that's in case you got to hit somebody first and make sure you're where you're going to hit them. He leaves a little red mark, and then you take the safety off. So um, You don't have the safety axe out here. No, I don't. No. What the crap were you thinking? We're out of stock on it. We are out of stock. You should have gone and whittled one out of styrofoam. So in case you didn't know, this episode (laughs) is called Marbles Madness. The brand is Marbles. We're going to look at some of the best sellers from Marbles. Actually, some just cool gadget stuff from Uh, Marbles. uh, Yes. But Webster L. Marble in the uh, early 1800s, or late 1800s, I should say, uh, in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, he invents a thing called the Safety Axe. And it still works, and you can look at it and disdain it if you want, but you're wrong. So he was awesome. He was like a guy who in, just invented yes. all kinds of crazy yeah. stuff, and just, I mean, he had the okay. So before before a buck one ten, <laughs> before a buck one ten happens, before the ranger happens, sure. before any of those things happen, he has before the trapper happens. Yes, uh. <laughs> he has probably one of the best-selling hunting knives of all time in oh, the yes. in the ideal. No, of course, yeah. yeah, yeah. So Marbles was a huge player out there. Marbles, and here's the thing: Marbles is still it is one of our top-selling brands. Yes, here in the store. Yep. I can't tell you how many of their machetes I sold this past fall to friends of mine. Right. Who went? I need a machete, right. and I went. Get the big orange one. Well, and I told him, I said, I said, have you looked at the marbles? And they were like, well, it's not going to hold up as good. And I went, have you tried one? And they went, well, but it's so inexpensive. And I went, right. have you tried one? Right. And yeah. And one of the guys who got one called back and he was like, pick me up another three of them. <laughs> and he loves them. He takes, he wraps the handle in. Cause that's one thing you always right. hear is the handle's a little rough, but for any machete I've ever owned, right. I always wrapped it in tennis tape anyway. Right. Because it makes it feel better. Yeah. You wrap that handle in, in tennis tape or or any kind of grip tape. Yeah. It is hands down the best machete I've ever used. Right. And if you happen to, I don't know, split it in half, <laughs> who cares? You go and you buy another one. Or you just buy buy them, you know, like a I dozen mean, at a time. Yeah, no, but they're, they're <laughs> at great prices. If you haven't seen those on the website on Smoky Mountain Lifeworks, smkw.com, yeah. go look up the machetes from Marbles because they are orange. They are coated so that they'll last. They are 1045 carbon, I believe. They're and easy to sharpen, and they are the epitome of a machete. Yeah. And you can get, we have, I mean, they're various sizes, too. Right. There's not just like one. There's a dozen there's, different there's sizes parang of shaped. There are different shapes out there. I wish you brought that parang. I know we didn't talk about it beforehand, right. but that parang, have you ever used it on anything? Uh, yes. That extra weight uh-huh. is kind of stupendous. It is nice. Yeah. It is nice. You don't think about it. You're like, well, that's just kind of a goofy looking thing, once but you, it works. Once you get the feel of where that blade needs to land, yes. it's amazing. And it will slice through anything. Yeah. No, it's Chicken great. bones. <laughs> chicken. What? <laughs> so the, <laughs> chicken bones, yeah. <laughs> So right before his voodoo ceremony. <laughs> what all? We need a chicken bone. I was going back to your bad juju comment. Bad juju. <laughs> <laughs> that I didn't make on the air. I know. <laughs> I had to bring the people in. Bring the people in. I think the thing that makes marbles is this at this point. So marbles, of course, is not made in Gladstone, yeah. Michigan anymore. Sure. Uh, it has closed down in that capacity. It, the, the name is licensed. Mm-hmm. But the sourcing for the product is amazing. It is, and, and the products they turn out, the, the quality, the finish, um, the look, the feel, and the fact that they're made with people's budgets in mind, Right there, there's that sweet spot right in the middle mm-hmm. is exactly where marbles fits. I mean, I know we haven't dove in, into any of the products yet, yeah. but that is a solid hand axe. Right. There is nothing cheap right. about this. Yeah, I have a great story about that when it comes up. And it just is, I mean... You can't beat it for right. the price point. You just can't beat it. So I, when people are looking for something in the showroom and they don't want to, you know, they're not looking toward the, the Uber expensive end, right? 
and they, you know, especially if they want to start out with just some some regular everyday camping gear and mm-hmm. some camping gear that's going to last them forever, just like the GI's knife, like the camper's frame. Right. You can't touch the quality right. in marbles, right? And the just the amount and the variety of products that they have, right? So since we have a variety of products, yeah, let's, here, let's go ahead and dive into them. What's first on our list? First up is the Marble Scout. The Marble Scout, Tobias Gibson. Yep. This is for you, buddy. This is an actual marble scout knife. This is a, what, five-bladed? Yeah, five-bladed. So this is a little bit more in-depth than, I'm going to hold it out here so you can see the handle material first. I'm going to tell you that the uh, handle on this thing is probably, what, just over four inches? Yeah, just over four inches. Okay. Uh, it's, it's three and five-eighths inches closed. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's just, yeah, under, just, under, just under four inches. Just under four inches. Yeah. It's got a genuine bone handle mm-hmm. that's jigged. Uh, has the great bomb shield from marbles on it. It has nickel silver bolsters, brass pins, brass liners, and five blades. It looks like you stepped out of the the fifties or sixties. It really does. It looks like those knives that like you know, and you go, you know, when your dad pulls you aside and goes, "Let me show you the first <laughs> knife that I got when I was a kid." Or or like like if you went back in time and you were at a scout jamboree. And they all were, you know, going for their whittling badge. Yes. They would all at one time pull these out and start. Wasn't that the reason to be in Scouts, though? I mean, you wanted the Scout knife. Oh, yeah. (laughs) I mean. And then I was just like, you know what? I can just go buy a knife. That's right. I don't even have to earn my, uh, I cooked a chicken on and made bad juju. I don't have to get kicked out of the Scouts for cheating. We are not dissing the Scouts. No. They serve a great purpose. They kicked me out. You're out of the semicircle. All Scouts have to sit in the semicircle. Yeah. It happens. Well, I cheated. They should have kicked me out. But, and then I just went and bought a knife. But, I mean, that, that, is the, that is when you think of a scout knife. Absolutely. A camp knife. This is what you think of. I mean, yeah. it comes with a can opener, a reamer, the cap lifter, lifter slash screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver. You've got a two and a half inch spear point blade. Just a good solid. Look at this reamer, too. This yeah. is, is unusual on a reamer because it's got a sharp edge to it as well. Most of your reamers don't have that super sharp edge, but you know we source. But the, depending on what you're doing, oh yeah, that's nice. Oh, it's very nice. You as a pipe smoker, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that has to be. You have to be going. Hmm, sound like an insult. Really nice. quick. You pipe smoker. You pipe smoker. <laughs> you pipe smoker. <laughs> but that's a. I mean, just a just a beautiful knife. Um, and that maybe one of the first multi tools. I mean, it's a very very Swiss Army style. Yeah. Camp knife. I mean, this is just has a little bit of everything, and it's great to just have in your pocket. So, what's the price point on this? Uh, so that's twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine for a piece of Americana. Yeah, for a well made solid knife that can just you know ride in the bottom of your backpack or in your pocket right. day to day use. Throw it in the car. Yeah, yeah. No, you it's know, nice. Commuter on a subway doesn't really matter. You're no, you're yeah. ready for anything. I think these I think these make great gifts. The fit hits the shan. That's right. You're opening bottles and this can like openers. Your, uh, this is your country boy Swiss Army right here. This is MacGyver. It is. This is MacGyver with a little bit of flair. <laughs> so I think the next thing on the list is more MacGyverish. Very it? much so. <laughs> <laughs> so next up is the camp combo. Oh, I thought it was going to be the other MacGyverish thing. No. Okay. Next, okay. I mean, we can go there. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Sure. To the GI? No, no. Where are you going? Oh, the camp card. Yes. <laughs> I didn't even see that sitting there. I bought, got this just for you. No, I did, literally did not even see that on the table. So this is the Marbles Anglers card. Yes. This is the <laughs> one you've talked about several times on this show. This thing makes me laugh. It makes me giddy every time I see it, and I want to go try it, and I have not yet. It's stainless steel, and look how super thin it is. I'm going to go fishing with that. At some point you this could. spring, I'm going right up the road to Douglas Lake, and I'm catching a fish. Right. With things off of this so the way this works is i'm gonna take that knife and this and i'm gonna make a fishing pole <laughs> you should <laughs> and then you gotta chop down a tree and cook it up well that's easy <laughs> the catching the fish for me that's hard so if you <laughs> it'd be better off the weight it out in the water it's hard for me too i just it. don't go out there and do it i just get bored right, that's me with after fishing. about three seconds i'm like oh, it's like God. oh look my hands stink and i'm bored that's why i like fly fishing you're actually in the water doing stuff Fly fishing is what I do when I have to go to the bathroom really bad. <laughs> <laughs> but this is this is the coolest piece. My nephew, who is a an avid fisherman, thinks this is. He says that it wouldn't work. <laughs> of course he does. <laughs> but he thinks it's the coolest thing he's ever seen. Hey, you you never know whether it works or not until you're starving to death and you've uh, got to use no. it. 
So we've got a couple of different of these in the showroom. This is the angler's card. It comes with all manner of hooks and lures and weights and even a spear point that all pop out of that metal piece. So let's let's describe this as best we can for our podcast. So members. imagine well, a business card size piece of metal. Yes. That you have then cut various anglers implements out of hooks, spear points, yeah. swivels, uh, uh, even uh, a little saw up at yeah, the top. Yeah. 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 It's all there. And so this thing can go flat and go in your, uh, it's very, very thin. It, it can go in the back it, of your wallet. Yes. So you could throw this in your wallet. You could throw this in your car and all of a sudden it hits you that you want to fish. <laughs> By God, you can do it. Because I know that happens to you. It does. On regularly. occasion where you're just like, I mean, well, there's a pun. <laughs> when, when, when we're at the Japanese steakhouse and I look into that koi pond, I, I, I think, man, I wish I had that angler's card in my pocket. <laughs> I, in my head, I would love to see somebody on the bank of a river up in the national park and just a, a one of the rangers just looking at him just, going, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Go buy a fishing pole. <laughs> I, br- I lost my hook. I gotta, so, get, I gotta get my saw. Included with this credit card thin it's piece. Cool. I know it's amazing. Look, it's you, got two sides to it as well. Yeah, I mean you've got you've got a fine saw and a coarse saw. I mean it 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 literally is all the pieces. That spearhead would work for gigging fish or frogs. Gigging <laughs> fish. Sorry, you do. You've never I, done that, have you? No, I never have. But I was. Have you ever been frog like, gigging? I was thinking of a jazz fish. <laughs> <laughs> that gigging fish, you just can't keep them in the pond. Do you? Do you see? Do you see what I'm doing? <sighs> when I end up with the angler's card hook in my hand, I'm gonna laugh at a lot and then help you remove it. Just. <laughs> It's my favorite line from uh, uh, Funny Farm. <laughs> yes. I'm trying to knock him out. Looks like you're just beating the piss out of him. <laughs> so on this, you get uh, three single and three double hooks. Yeah. You get three swivel weights that are also snare locks. You get a saw slash scaler. You get a two-inch arrowhead and uh, a one-inch needle and a two-and-a-half-inch gig. Yeah. All in this one little piece. Look at those little baby needles right there. It's amazing. Yeah, they It gotta- really is it's a very, very cool piece. If you've got an angler in the family that you want oh, a yeah. really fun gift for. Yeah. Throw that inside the card. It's seven bucks. Yeah. It's seven bucks. Throw it makes in. the, yeah, in, inside the gift card or yeah. inside with a gift card from smkw.com. That's right. And just stick it right in there inside Absolutely. their, you know, the, their birthday card or whatever. I love it. Yeah. Again, don't know that I would use it for actual fishing, Oof. but for a survival right. instance. And at what? Four ninety nine, six ninety nine. Six ninety nine. We are getting cut everything that I said. We're sending Mark on a mission <laughs> to use that and see if he can catch. He has fish. to go to Douglas Dam and nice. he can only use that. Did we just invent a new segment? <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're going to go video him. He can only use that. Mark on a mission. He can only use. We're to give him three marbles items. He gets that card, that GI knife, uh-huh. and a small axe. Nice. And he ha- we'll give him some fishing line, too, because I don't think they come with fishing line. No. He has to braid his own hair. Um, <laughs> Mark has very short hair. It'd take forever. Uh, but he has to go catch a fish at Douglas Lake using Marbles items nice. and that card. Nice. John, are you up for going to video that? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> I like, think like on air, he's going to go, no. No. <laughs> You have a phone. <laughs> but yes, we're going to, Mark is going to go catch a fish. And if he can't catch a fish, yeah. he has to gig a fish. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so let's jump into one more of gig these gig a fish. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's a little less than a tariff fish. Exactly. <laughs> Which we like to call an alligator. I had 999. <laughs> a tariff fish. That's a tap bites of fish. Right? Megabytes of fish. <laughs> Wasn't quite a terabyte. Oh, we have lost it. We haven't done one of these in a while, I can tell. So uh, next up on the list, one of the best-selling knives. We can never keep this in stock. It just goes and goes and goes and goes. And probably one of my... You don't have it on here. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. It's the Camp Combo. Oh, I thought that was a GI knife. It is the GI knife. It's called a Camp Combo. (gasps) Oh, it comes with other stuff. That's why. It comes together. Never mind. Okay, so this is the mar- this is how much I pay attention. This is the Marbles Camp Combo. I send him the notes ahead of time. I never look at them. I know he doesn't. Ever. 
I look at the title and I went, "Ooh, Marvel of Madness. We, cool. On to something else. <laughs> we've we've hit this item before in yeah, various have. forms, so we're going to go through it pretty quick. It, the GI knife was the standard military issue World War II. Yeah. Uh, there were thousands upon thousands and this of these is made by... identical. It really is. Uh, it's got stainless steel handles. It's got stainless steel 440A blades. Uh, it has your can opener. It has your cap lifter. It has your screwdriver. It has a reamer. It has a spear point blade. Uh, this one has match drive pulls on it. It has a lanyard bell. And this carried over into Korea and Vietnam as well. Dad had one of these from when he was in the military. Um, I know I've probably bought two or three of these from Army Navy stores over the years. Yeah. Um, never to this quality. Right. Some of those that right. did not come from actual military use. Right. Were never of this quality. Um, I, this is, again, it's much like the camp knife. It's well, perfect. Here's the thing. So I've said this before in here, and I'll say it again. You, they come World War II ends. They have thousands yeah. of these patterns sure. already made, right? And they're ready what to do go again. Them? What are you doing? Well, you stick a jig bone handle or a jig plastic handle <laughs> on it. You exactly put some silver right. bolsters on the end. And voila, you have camp knife. a camp a scout knife, knife. A scout yes. knife. Yes. And, and that happened a lot. Yeah. And you got that other thing I like about this. You have that nice big bale on the front. Yes. Um, so it's easy to keep up, keep up with. Uh, I think the one that I have at the house that was dad still has this big piece of green, ugly paracord attached to the front where he would mm-hmm. always sling it in his backpack. Mm-hmm. I just, I, I dig it. And this, because this is the camp combo, it also comes with the camper's best friend, which I have one of these in my backpack that I go hiking with that I don't use as much, but it's there just in case. Cap lifter, can opener. Yep. Most spoon. People, most people aren't familiar with that. Cap. It's a carabiner. That the can opener on that is much like, is it a P31? Yes. Can opener, is, it's a lot like that. Uh, this is much easier to use than a traditional P31. <laughs> yes. But again, spork, can opener, yep. carabiner, cap lifter, yep. you're good to go. Yeah. Can of beans, can bottle of beer, beer, bottle of beer, your angler's card so you can catch your fish. And you can scale it, you can clean it with that. That's right. Whittle down a tree to a pole. <laughs> you're ready to go. That's braid right. your, cut your hair off, braid it in the fishing line. <sighs> it's amazing. Yeah. I, I love that piece. No, we sell the crap out of that. <laughs> we, we really do. Yeah. No, I think I mean, it's a great knife to have wherever. And that, that sets $10. Yeah. For me, that's two gifts. Yeah. You're like, no, no, no. You know, we you need get to make this and you get this. We need to make that with a corkscrew and call it a bartender's knife. Uh, dude, that's a great idea. Yeah. So don't steal it. It's yeah. ours. We're going to do, do that. That's going to marbles. Happen. The marbles. <laughs> the marbles bartender. The marbles bartender. The marb tender. The marble sommelier. <laughs> Guys, we are brought to you by Smoky Mountain <laughs> Knife Works, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. Uh, this is a show called Guys Talk Knives. We've Where been we, doing this in guys, we're into talk season two. the knives. Season two. I know, it's amazing. It is amazing. Who'd Se- have thought? Season two. Back in season one. The SMK Dabia Army right now is huge on Facebook. Yeah. Join it if you're not part of it right now. Uh, make sure you're on Instagram, make, following us there. Make sure you're on Twitter and following us there. You never know what we're going to do this year. Uh, this year, all bets are off. Yeah. It really is. We, we kind of we just made sure that we were getting things done. And last year was amazing. Yes, we had to top that. And we've been told to do more. Yeah. So we are. We put our little monkey fist together and we just... Monkey fist. Me. <laughs> I'm not monkey <laughs> fist bumping you I in 2019. Got, I almost got him to do it. Guys, this is Guys Talk Nice. We have to take a short break. We'll be right back after this. And we are back with more Guys Talk Knives, brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com. Marbles Madness. <laughs> Marbles Madness. It sounded like the beginning of an EA Sports game, didn't it? Marbles Madness. It may have been at some point. <laughs> We're going to get sued isn't it by NFL, EA. NFL Madness, isn't that the... No, March Madness. Yeah, March Madness. March That's Madness. not NFL. Man, I have no idea. <laughs> no, it's definitely not yeah. NFL. <laughs> That'd be it's amazing. Okay, if just... they played that many games, they would just die on the field. Fondle this here till we do talk what you got to do. Oh, we're going to talk about it right now. It's a brushy mountain lockback set. No, <laughs> brushy mountain. It's the brushy mountain survival is set. You know, I named the thing. Okay, so I can call it whatever the heck I want. Why did you choose brushy mountain? Because uh, Kevin said you use brushy mountain. <laughs> 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 See, and here I was hoping you had some reasoning. No. You know, like you escaped the prison. No. You know, you can go tour that now. Yes, I really yes. kind of want to. Yes. Do you know we have three items to get through? <laughs> 
that have nothing to do with Brushy Mountain. Do you know there's an axe right next to my I hand? I do. Let's do this. <laughs> so this is the Brushy Mountain Survival Set. Uh, it comes with a lockback. Uh, it's a 440A stainless steel blade with a non-glare finish. Uh-huh. I really love the finish on this. Look at this. It looks so good. Um, you've got a, a nice black composition handle right. for 10 bucks. Yeah. It's a heck of a knife. Yeah. But you get the bracelet with it as well. Right. So along with this solid, I mean, again, look at the lock back on this thing. Yeah, no, it's nice. It, it, it's good. basically like a 110, but budget-friendly 110. Exactly. It's yeah. got a you know a comp, a composite handle. A composite. <laughs> a composite <laughs> It handle. is a composite handle with the uh, stainless steel blade. <laughs> Thank you, Jacques Cousteau. <laughs> um, okay, I, I, I dig this thing, though. This I do, thing, too. This thing is worth the whole price of this. Again, that's what I'm saying. For 10 bucks, either one of these things by itself. Do you know all the ins and outs of this thing? I'm going to let you it? go into it. Okay. So this is the, the Brushy Mountain Survival bracelet that comes yes. in this set. It's paracord, first off. Yes. Which is a, is a great deal of paracord that's there. It has, I'd say it's a thick braid on that. Yes. It has a safety whistle built right in. You know I didn't that. know that. Yes. It has a fire starter rod. No. A ferro rod right there. There is your striker. Let me show this down here so they can see. So there's the striker well. on that side. There's a ferro rod in this end. Right? I, I so, did not. I, I feel stupid. Yes. I did not know that. So you also have a compass. It's probably not the greatest compass on the world. So uh, I mean, but you, really, you how much does a compass? I mean, as long as it, it works. If it works, it works, right? It so works. It's, it's kind of cool. Oh, now, flip it. Hang on. Yeah, that's north. We're fine. <laughs> We're no, good. seriously. We're yeah. good. It works. So the coolest thing about this is that it contains line strand technology. Yes. And fire strand technology. Okay. okay. So if you're in an emergency situation, you need to get your paracord. If you break this paracord down, inside the black paracord is fishing line. Holy crap. On the inside. So you can just begin to pull it out. All you right. still have paracord surrounding, and you have fishing line. Inside this orange piece that is nice and decorative is fire strand. You can actually see it, John. We can get close on two. You can see how that's a little red on the tip. Right. If you pull that out of that orange right there, it is a treated, a fire treated thing. So if you hit that with the ferro rod, it burns hotter than normal fire would. Right. So oh, I just changed Mark on a mission <laughs> in case you were wondering. I was not wondering, but I was going to bring it up because he needs to take this and build a fire. It is this set and that card. That's right. And that's it. He's got to catch a fish using the strand uh-huh. from inside here. Yep. Nice. And we'll give him the axe too so he can make a pole. <laughs> But this is really, really cool. He might get arrested at Douglas Lake. So, so you get the whole thing. You get this. <laughs> um, I feel really dumb that I didn't know what all was in that. Uh, you know, what's cool about this is if you read the internet, it's on there. <laughs> no, I, you're right. But I had no idea. That is the coolest thing I've ever yeah. seen. Yeah. So it's a very cool technology in this thing. That is worth way more than the 10 bucks. That's what I'm saying. That by itself. This is awesome. But. This is a double thick nylon sheath well, and with you can go, dual carry. Exactly. You can right? go horizontal or you vertical. You can stick your Buck 110 in this and sure. carry it. Right? So if you lose your Buck 110 sheath, you've got a double thick nylon sheath there. You've got a backup knife to and throw in your pack. And start a hell of fire with this. That's right. Blow your safety whistle when you get lost. Or when you start a fire that's way too big. Nine ninety nine. Is that what this is? Yeah. Ten ninety nine For everything. Yeah. It's nice. Oh, Mark is... Mark, Mark can't come back in the office That's until right. he has a fish cooked. That's right. Mark is on a mission. I'll even give him some salt and pepper. Nice. Salt and pepper here. <laughs> I said it, and I, I could you hear you say it. <laughs> All right. Next up is one of my favorite things on the table. This is the, the Marbles American Hickory Small Axe. Uh, so this is a 1045 carbon steel axe head, and uh-huh. it is a just a big chunk of metal. Look at that thing. And John, it's solid. John's going right down to it just here in a second. And he's going to chop open the So while the, he's going back GI to switch us to, to, to two, let me tell you about this thing real yeah, quick. Yeah, go for it. Uh, there is a YouTuber named Wranglestar. Have yeah. you ever seen his stuff? I have, yeah. Right. So he bought one of these. Okay. And he calls this the best axe under $20 he's ever used. He's completely right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, again, he when you- put it through its paces, all he did was a little bit of edge sharpening when he sure. got it. And he couldn't believe it. <laughs> Again, this is a $20 hand axe that is perfect. The weight is great. It's American hickory on the handle. You can see how the head's actually put in. Here. Do it here. Yeah. It's just, it, it's, it has all of those things you want in a hand axe. Right. It's perfect. And what's the price? 20 bucks. 
20 bucks. Yeah. 1999 on that thing. I, I dig Made it. in El Salvador. Yep. Where they know how to make tools. Exactly. Yep. And this thing just feels great. No, it has, it has perfect weight. You can get up close at the top if you need to. Uh, you've got plenty of room to swing. Uh, for a camp axe, this is perfect. It's got nice, uh, a nice uh, flat back so you can do the hammer. Dang, I know Jason, well. dang. Oh, you a beer? <laughs> it's like two or three. I know. But no, that's a great little axe I, I love for it. marbles. I right? love it. They also carry different size axes. So sure. if you go on the site on smkw.com and type in marbles axes and I think or marbles axe. That's the thing with marbles is all of their products, the quality is there. Yeah. The price is not. The price is amazing. Yeah. Because they're sourcing people who do good things with products at yes. a, at a at a good price. Bingo. Yeah. Exactly. Now let's jump on to the big daddy on the yeah. table. Because a lot of people think that there are no American made marbles whatsoever anymore. anymore. Yes. Yeah. But there are. Yes. And well. This is an American made marbles ideal hunting knife. Now we talked about at the first of this show that this was their piece back in the day was yes. their was their hunting knife, the ideal. This is a replica of that. Yep. Um, and it is just, it's beautiful. So this is the 120 year anniversary hunting knife. It uh-huh. has a natural micarta handle, uh, right. which you, you can see all the detail on that handle is just gorgeous. Uh-huh. Um, it has a two tool steel in the blade. Yep. It's a five and a half inch clip point, um, blood grooves on it, natural micarta handle, brass guards, black, wed, black, red, white, and brass spacers on that. And if I'm not mistaken, it's got a full hollow grind. Too. It does. Yes. Yeah. So it is gorgeous. And that. You don't see blood grooves like that anymore, but that was that was a trademark of the um, <clears throat> of the ideal, and it just that is a beautiful knife. Flip yeah. over where you can see the the bottom of the butt cap there. It has all those details of that classic hunting knife. Yes. Uh, now just look at the thickness on that. Thing. This is American made marbles. Yes, you're paying for that American made marble. Yes, you are. Um, there are not many of these made. This is two hundred and sixty bucks. 260 bucks. This would be perfect for your collection. Yes. It really would. Or if you just want to use it. Yeah. I mean, look at the, look at the tank stamp. Yeah. I think that says it all. Yep. Marbles, Gladstone, Michigan. It's just USA. gorgeous. I love it. Yep. Um, and we have sold the mess out of these. The people who are marbles fans jumped on this because they were like, Oh, well, comes with a leather sheath as yeah. well. We didn't untrack traditional, that. traditional leather sheath. I wanted to keep this sacred for whoever gets it. Exactly. Yes. We'll put my DNA on it. There it is. <laughs> No, it has to be burned. That's no. right. That's right. <laughs> but uh, detoxified. I, th- I think you you did you did such a good job of picking the products for this. Thank you. Um, you have a range of products on this table that are very traditional, mm-hmm. and then kind of go to the to the extreme of mm-hmm. of the survivalist bent, right? With everything in between. I mean, and and all of it, you know, minus the American made piece, they're all under twenty bucks. Yeah, no, and that's the great part. Go on to uh, smkw.com, yeah. go into the marbles section and just look around. We actually have two of them. There is a marbles section there and is. a marbles outdoors, so make sure you explore both areas. Uh, you're going to see things, everything from a swing tool, which is kind of a really cool little knife yeah. that you stick on your pack, all the way to this uh, ideal hunting knife. which and, is, the, and the safety axe is on there, which is out of stock right now. I'll be back in soon. Yeah. Um, that safety axe is, if you've never seen it, go look at it. Yeah. Look at some video on it because yeah. it's a it's a pretty cool it's a idea. Really cool it, was, idea. it was a neat idea that you didn't chop your leg off in the middle of the yeah, forest. I mean, it's, just, it's nice not to have to carry a separate sheath for an axe too. Yeah. Um, yeah. So just a, a tremendous company, a great brand. Um, and if you haven't ever experienced a marble a marble knife, go buy one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's not going to break the bank, and it gives you something to play with. That's uh, absolutely. A little different. If you're looking for a pack knife, I'm the, the, the GI. You need one of those. Period. Yeah. In your life. <laughs> so if you haven't been on SMKW.com in a long time, get on there. Check it out. See what's going on. Uh, make sure you're following us on Facebook. We have a giveaway every single week there. Make sure you're following us on Instagram. We have a give different giveaway there every single week. Those start on Wednesday. They end on Wednesday. Yep. It is amazing. We put something brand new up and ready to go. Guys, come play with us online. No kidding. We have a lot of fun. Best social media group on the face of the planet. Yeah. For sharp, pointy things. Yes. Maybe period. Just anyway. <laughs> we are brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works. SMKW.com. That is Jason. I am Andy, and this has been another episode of Guys Talk Knives. We'll catch you next time. <laughs>